My name is Ian Maiden. I'm 60 years old. I live in Lake Oswego, and this is my fourth consecutive cycle organ. You give geology talks tonight. How did it all get started? You know, the first trip that I did, I noticed that people were spending most of their time looking at the butt in front of them, pardon me, the rider in front of them, and uh, not looking at the incredible scenery around them. And so I started uh, putting up notices at the rider services in the evening saying that I'd give a little geology talk behind the tent uh, at night and uh, had two people the first night and five people the next and 50 people a night after that and uh, in the subsequent years the cycle organ folks have um, worked with me to make me give me an opportunity to get up and share with people what a great state we live in and how cool the geology is. So you're like a staple at what 6 p.m. every night? I, uh, I'm doing uh, the opening to the announcements every night at 7.30. And then on Monday and Wednesday and Friday, I've been doing uh, a 40 minute long, more detailed talk and a question and answer session out in the beer garden. Has there been an especially interesting topic for you this ride? Well, I think the thing that ties this ride together is the theme of subduction, which is a big element of plate tectonics that is really important in Oregon's geology. And it not only shapes the rocks that we're riding through that makes this incredible scenery, but it's also a real issue for people's lives today because we have subductions on earthquakes that threaten us from the, uh, the offshore fault with a magnitude nine earthquake every 500 years. So it's both big picture uh, part of the landscape but also a, a very pressing part of our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, that, that's kind of a downer, Ian. Let's go on to the, no the knockers. Tell me about the okay. knockers. Okay, so the, um, one of the most interesting parts of the terrain here in Southwest Oregon is the incredibly varied topography that you get when you have melange, which is a rock that forms in subduction zones. It's thoroughly broken and chewed up rock mixed up and there are big hard chunks in it made of volcanic rock or greenstone or bluestone or uh, chert that are hard and resistant and they stand out in the landscape and we call those knockers it's an old technical term sure uh, from the, uh, the 1800s of course um, but it makes for a very chaotic terrain and so the sea stacks that you see abandoned are all knockers, hard lumps in this broken rock assemblage that we call melange. Um, and in fact, we've recently made a geologic map of that area, sent somebody out to bang on every one of those rocks. Each one of them is a completely different type of rock. It has nothing to do with the stuff around it. And that tells geologists a whole bunch, but it also makes for really unique scenery. Uh, how's this ride going for you? Uh, you know, this has been a really great cycle, Oregon. Um, we've had a couple of tough days. The day is going on and on and on, but God, the weather's been beautiful. The scenery's been spectacular. Camps have been great. Um, I think it's my best yet.